Hi, this is Dr. Hakome. I'm a bariatric surgeon from Augusta, Georgia. The topic for today is gastric band and gastric balloon. There is a little bit of history between the gastric band and gastric balloon. Those are surgeries that their main purpose is reduce the amount of food that you can eat. They don't really carry much of a hormonal or metabolic effect. So the purpose of a band is to put a little bit of a ring on the very top of the stomach, dividing the stomach in two different uh, cavities. One is a very small on the top, and the other one is a much larger at the bottom. If you want to think about it, it's almost like an hourglass. The purpose of this is when you eat, the food will sit on the top small portion and then it slowly trickle down to the bottom part, giving you a sensation of fullness. And if this way, if you're not hungry and you're able to eat very little, you can do the appropriate diet plus exercise and then lose the weight. The purpose of the balloon is pretty much a plastic ball that is about this big and it's almost about a pound in weight. Uh, the idea of the balloon is we go in with an endoscope into the stomach, place the balloon and inflate the balloon. The main purpose of this is to um, basically irritate the stomach, giving you a sensation of fullness, but more than anything occupying a space, again, giving you the ability to eat very little. These two procedures are very successful, uh, especially at the very beginning. You know, with the gastric balloon and the band, the weight loss at the very beginning is um, very significant but they really have not shown to be uh, good for long term. In other words, the people who get these balloons or get the band, they tend to lose weight at the beginning, but then it becomes very difficult to actually keep the weight off. One of the reasons for this is they don't carry a metabolic, a hormonal effect that actually reverses some of the issues created by obesity, helping you lose the weight as well as helping you keep it, keep it off. One of the main issues with the balloon is that you can only keep the balloon for about six months. So if during those six months or some balloons up to a year, you have not relearned new habits and new lifestyle, more than likely the weight can come back after surgery. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe. Thank you.